Nicholas Stoltza, you know, he gets starched, man, in the first round against the night train, Jared Gooden, who took the fight on four days notice, who secured his first finish in uh, his UFC tenure, his first win in these UFC tenure as well, man. My question is the similar one to uh, the Ryan Benoit versus Zaruk Adeshev. When you have a not a clear, distinct grappling advantage, but you're pretty damn good with your grappling, uh, all your wrestling sprawls and transitions. Why do you strike with a man who is known to knock people's heads off their shoulders, who looks like a mini Debo, who looks like a just a Greek god, chiseled bodybuilder arms, man? Just give me give me some sort of explanation on Nicholas Stoltz's plan getting one twoed by Jared Gordon. I think I think he overthought it. You know, you know when you're going into a scrap and you think like, all right, this guy knows that I'm here to wrestle. I'm here to take him down. I gotta at least mix it up a little bit before I shoot the takedown. Um Maybe that's what was going on. I don't know. I don't know why in the world he decided to try and box with Jared Gooden, man. It made no sense at all. Uh, the only thing I could think is maybe he was trying to mask his attack, you know, like he was trying to overthink it and trying to game plan a little bit, you know, throw a couple ones and twos before just to offset Jared Gooden, get him sit back on his heels so that way the takedown is a little easier. But I I don't see any reason why anyone would want to strike with Jared Gooden, man. It makes absolutely zero sense, especially when – I thought it was a pretty decisive grappling advantage that Stoltz had on Gooden. Um, what, what do you think? What, why would anybody ever want to strike with Jared Gooden, man? The only thought that I have that makes any inkling of sense is that maybe he was all like, well, I watched him versus uh, Abu Bakar, and Abu Bakar was able to kind of piece him up a little bit, right? That's a different dude, though, man. That's a dude who had the real wrestling threat where he was like, I cannot get taken down by this dude. His hands were at his at his knees, you know, just being like, if you shoot on me, I'm going to be ready. So obviously that's going to, you know, uh, it's going to make your boxing defense a little bit weak, you know, because you're too concerned about the takedown. Stoltza never earned the respect for the takedown for Gooden. I think, if anything, I think Gooden actually took down Stoltza in that matchup. Gooden is a BJJ Brown belt, by the way. He just doesn't use it all the time. But at the end of the day, man, this was a huge win for Gooden. This is the, the win that he needed. He says he had a spiritual revelation, you know what I mean, in the week uh, upcoming to the fight. And he took the fight on four days' notice, man. So it just like, you have to feel for Stoltza because on one hand, you could be like, damn, man, you're supposed to fight Lazez. Lazez pulled out last minute replacement and he get knocked out. But then for Gooden, you say, well hey man you know your back was against the wall you're 0-2 you're fighting for your job and you get the knockout listen man that's that's picture perfect poetry in motion right there man huge win for the night train jared gordon and i do have to uh note that he opened as a favorite and he ended up closing as an underdog got the easy easy win man so big big win for jared gordon my man uh,